Hey there guys, it's Mr. Q, your friendly neighborhood Qatari, also known as Mokujin21, and today I'm going to be showing off another iPhone 5 case. This time it is the Plus Card Bubble Pack, and this was the one of the cases that I bought um, from Japan, and it says Suitcase right on the front, and then on the back it literally shows you... Um, a little bit of a photo and how you would slip that onto the uh, onto the phone itself. The reason why this is special is because it's actually quite slim and it has that you know curved profile. So I thought, hey, you know what? Let me go ahead and buy this and try this out and see what it's like. So this is how you open up the case. You got a little tab over here. So I'm just gonna push that up. Then I'm gonna pull this. Whoops. Finger in there. Okay. So I wish it was one easy motion but then again it's like opening up a, a yogurt packet so sadly uh, things never work out as awesome as you had thought it they would so anyway let me just put that to the side now first thing i'm going to show you is this little silver card that is in here now there's two things to mention right so first of all because it's actually let me talk about this right so this is an anti-radiation um, blocker I guess and so as you can see what it says and I'll just try to get a good angle for you the EMI sheath can make your card easily read through a card reader and absorbs harmful, harmful electromagnetic waves so what you could do is you could either leave this on your phone right just alone and within this watch after you slip your phone into the case and it will absorb harmful radiation or what you, and no, it shouldn't be or you can put a card in here like a any card you know like an NFC card uh, let's say if you've got a I don't know like a Metro card uh, maybe you've got one of those credit cards you know that has um, NFC built in you put that in then you put this on top and then it like um, make sure that your phone doesn't have any disturbance with the um, the case or like the card inside the phone so let me just slide that in put that in really quickly and let's see take a look at the the, the case itself and so from the inside just touching this it just feels like normal plastic um, on the top you can see that there's a little bit of um, spray paint that's gone through obviously from the paint that they've used on the case itself uh, looking around the edges um, over here it's kind of rounded but like when I'm touching this area over here yeah it, it, it feels it just feels pretty sharp and let me see if I can get that to focus in here for just a second let's try again Okay, let's try focusing it on the text first. Okay, guess not. So, yeah, there you go. Got a little bit of an angle over here, so it's kind of sharp. So I'm I'm, I'm kind of worried about that. Um, but if we just go back to the um, overall look of the case itself, again, I really like the fact that it was thin. It's got a gap over here. Um, it doesn't have that very big gap that a lot of cases have on the top. It just has a gap for the power over here. And then at the bottom, you've got that space for your, you know, your speakers and everything else. So let's put this into the case and take a look at what it's going to look like. So again, what I'm going to do, actually this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip on that side and then I'm going to slide this in. Now, by the way, now with me just putting this in, I heard a little bit of a scrape and I think it's that side over there. So if you're worried about scratches, this probably is going to be an issue for you. Now, this definitely doesn't have any lay on the table design because that's as far as it goes, guys. Okay, so it goes up until where the um, chamfered edge is, you know, so just literally where the, the, the little bit of a curvature is over here. And this is what the phone looks like. I'm sorry, guys, let me try to get it as close as possible, as focused as possible for you. Yeah, there you go. This is what the phone looks like. And just because it's got that curve and because it comes up to that little edge over here, it kind of now gives me the feeling um, or the look of how it would look like with the iPhone 3G or the 3GS. So, yeah, I mean, that gives me a little bit of nostalgia. Now, I'm a very big fan of these types of rounded uh, cases. I personally use the iMyMe white case um, regularly with the rounded edge, which, by the way, I'll talk about then later on um, in another video. Just check it, check it out later on. It kind of looks like the iPhone 5C um, in terms of the case. But yeah, so it's got a round edge. It feels nice to hold. It actually does make the phone kind of feel slim because of the fact of how how thin it is. If you want to put this on this on face down, yes, you're definitely going to be um, scratching that up. So I recommend like a screen protector like the um, Spigen um, glass because um, that's great. And so, yeah, there you go. This is what it looks like. Here's the side. Here's the top. 
and here's the bottom. On the back, this is what it looks like with the camera. And there you go. It says bubble pack over here simply. It's a nice looking case. It's got this nice pearlescent look to it. And it doesn't show show it on the video, but it's got this really lovely deep, deep blue color to it. So yeah, it looks really nice. This is the plus card suitcase bubble pack.